So a few other is being dragged on social media today. I mean, it's it's quite some way. It's quite some way. Apparently, the restaurant that she claimed that she owned is not hers, and that the owner has thrown her out of the restaurant. Welcome to No Formula here on One King Water Media. My name is Sika, and as always, we are all we are here to bring you the latest and trending news on social media worldwide wherever it is that you find make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel at one can multimedia go on all social media platforms facebook twitter instagram ig wherever uh, tiktok and subscribe and like and follow all of our pages now uh, earlier reports are suggesting that if your daughter has been sacked from her own restaurant and apparently uh, <laughs> it's true yes so it is true if you heard the rumor or saw anything like that flying around on social media i'm here to confirm to you that it is indeed true well if your daughter has told her fans that uh, they now eat at the place called Eat Avenue at their own risk. She took to social media, uh, she took to Twitter or X to make this particular uh, statement where she said, I'm no longer affiliated with Eat Avenue. Eat at your own risk. So people were asking questions that, like, yo, if you, you said that Eat, Afri Eat Avenue is yours you own it well if you don't know or you think we are just making these things up look at this video if you don't went on utv and then Ms. G asked there about its avenue and the ownership and this is what she had to say about it you have workers you have to pay then then it's a restaurant no car and you would yet we got a high with seven say you say see you there what's the proof me name say if you met me i'll be a juma no my high see you i'm the owner i'm i i own the restaurant and if if you want you pop this public knowledge you can go on public uh on on youth like like i said google put the restaurant's um name in there look for who the director is is that no, and see, so me call register general. You can go. It's, you will see my name. registered in your name. You will see Andrea Owusu. Into a wood yet? Oh yes. And yes, we'll be in a beer and a special one. Bachelor Derby. We don't dance here on Kofor C and Bissau. Because of the the wine. The wine shop. Yes, and I and in. I believe I I totally understand why they would they would think that. Mm. And I learned from that thing because that wine thing was just it was just too much. I was also young. I was ignorant in so many things. But when, you know, like I said, it's public knowledge. Open so who say I am media. Go to the registration. Then, so after saying this on UTV, she went to 3FM as well, where she was asked about its avenue. And this is what she said. That's important. Now, on the on the issue of the restaurant, that also then became a topic in of itself. But you call it your baby. So this is you. This is well, I co-own it. Co -own. Yes, I co-own uh -huh. it. Yes, okay. yes, yes. I do okay. have a business partner. Okay. Yeah. And that's pretty much what it is. You co-own the business. Yes, I co-own the business. Okay. We both okay. have our shares in it. I see. Yeah. And that's why you're there every day. You can't afford to, to no. let it fail. If I was a manager, you think I would care to be there every day? About, but you know, even with me, whatever job manager. I take. <laughs> so what we actually do not understand is that you say you own the place. Eh? And it comes out that you don't. Because somebody had to bring it on social media that a few other has been sacked from the restaurant. And then people were like, yo, this is not true. Because a few other actually has stated countlessly that she owns the place. You remember when she had that beef with Sister Fia? Uh -huh. Industry machine and all those back and forth. Sister Fia mentioned that somebody's uh, restaurant that she's managing, she claims she's the owner. And then Sister Fia, uh, Fia does said that no, she actually owns it. Well, now no, it looks like it is not like that. So you say you own the thing, and it comes out that you don't own it. And then you come out to release documents as proof of 40% uh, ownership. So after uh, it was actually revealed that she didn't really own the place and the place is not hers, she came on social media to post this particular uh, document suggesting that she actually owns a part of 40% of the business. And uh, she said, my 40% ownership of Eat Avenue restaurant is very factual and backed by law. I don't necessarily need to be at the helm of affairs as a proud legal owner. If in doubt, kindly refer. And then he, she puts the numbers there, the TIN number, the registration number. Uh, that is on the Ghana Registrar of Companies records. And then she went on to say... 
Thank you. So if you remember, in uh, July tw uh, 12, uh, 2024, when Sister Fia and the Fyodor were going heads to head, born for ban, boot for boot on Twitter, uh, Sister Fia actually quoted and she said, you'll be manager for someone in restaurant they claim it be your own. It's okay, honey. Brand yourself. Uh, so <laughs> to which a few other came to say that, yo, what are you talking about? I am the proud owner of its avenue. Sana sister Obwa. Nina your lies according to what is happening. But then now she's saying that she owns forty percent of the business. But how can you say you own forty percent? I don't even get it. Wait, let's rewind. Let's rewind. You say you own the place and then it comes out that you don't own the place. And then later on, you come back and then tell us that you own 40% of the place, right? Yes, you own 40% of the place. A few minutes later, you come back on social media to caution us, to warn us of going to that place to purchase or eat their food and that you are no longer affiliated with the restaurant. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. How can you be a co-owner of a business and then later come out and then tell us that you are no longer affiliated to the business? Is it that you've sold your shares of the company? Um, it doesn't make sense. Uh, somebody should explain it to me in uh, the comment section. But this is what is uh, happening to a few other right now. When you go on Twitter or X, she's trending. Number one, uh, number two, number one, it's Avenue, number two, if you're there, just keep switching up like that on uh, Twitter. People are talking about how you go on Facebook. People are saying the same thing uh, as well. Now we get that you are no longer affiliated uh, to the restaurant that you claimed to be an owner. Uh, what is it with uh, it at your own risk? That's then she tweeted. I don't understand. What is it about that? Why? Why? You guys will be buying pressure for the youngins in this town. It is not fine. It is not right at all. Well, because of this, agenda boys too are doing their own agenda. They are, own, they are doing their own thing. Because Charlie, it's a fear. Anytime, a fear though, anytime she gets the boys, eh? A fear though, anytime she gets the agenda boys, she gives it to them. Wutu, wutu, wutu. So now, table at 10. I'm a level of snow. I 10 over 10. So this one, dear Charlie, if you the Charlie, I don't know how she's going to come out of this. But as we all know, if you is a strong girl and she's so nonchalant, that's one thing I love about her. So she's going to come out. I mean, I'm sure by now she's sipping on uh, some cocktails in a bikini uh, at a pool. Yeah beside the pool so she she's fine she will do just fine but then if you don't own the thing why should you come and tell us that you own the thing or you don't really own it and then you say you own 40 percent but then you say you are no longer affiliated to it so within these few hours now nah, this back and forth has been going on now nah, you've been able to sell your 40 percent of the company to somebody else for you not to be affiliated to the company anymore I don't I don't I don't get it but that is the thing looks like